Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back in Pamela. This is version 0.0.1.4.3, so I missed a couple of updates while I was on hiatus. Uh, long story short, they reset the save games, and they added a bunch of new features, including a little bit more detail to the world. Now there are more sounds. Uh, for example, if you open up a box or a container, I think it now makes like an unlocking sound. It actually changes the model a little bit. It's pretty cool, so let's just start picking up stuff here. Uh, as, you, as you can see, we are actually not outside of Origin Station. We are outside of Arc Medical. Now, the reason I wanted to come here is, well, they reset the save anyway, and I, really, and I figure instead of going to uh, the lobby of Arcadia, instead we'll just go over there and find out what the heck is over there, because we never quite went there. Now, uh, I just want to show you some of the things that they added. Okay, they... Uh, they, you'll see some of the other features in terms of uh, they're going to be locked doors and a little bit more detail. But one of the things they added, which I'm really excited for, is this. The encyclopedia. And it fills out, like sleeper, and then you get other things here, like uh, afflicted, etc. Uh, location, Eden, and then we can unlock like arc medical and other locations around Eden. Items, like our gear. Uh, so basically lore, right? So here, uh, let me show you. Now, I, I'm going to tell you. Since I had to play through here, see it says location arc medical logged into datapad. Now, if we go back into uh, the encyclopedia, we'll see we have arc medical in uh, the lore. Now, I had more stuff obviously because I played through here, and so I had entries for you know the afflicted and for all these other guys. Um, but I don't anymore because it's 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 early access. So when you actually quit out of the game, it resets. Here's what I'm talking about, right? The garrison box is now just open because I unlocked it and I rooted through it. And it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's just a little bit more immersion, a little bit more realism to the world. I'm actually pretty excited about that. Uh, now let's go take a look here. Now obviously if there are things that can rumble us, like that guy right there, uh, we are not going to go there. Populous Reaper, something else. Yeah, we're not going over there. Thank you. Uh, let me just show you what we have for gear. We have a shield, we have a gadget, we have a thing for a flashlight, we have a butcher blade, and some utilities which allow us to basically stack more energy. We have a hypo probably drop this thing nobody cares about it we have food some energy so you know what I'm a big fat liar when I say that we're gonna go over there because look at this look at this I don't want to go and rumble a Reaper he's going to completely demolish me if we do there's a widow over there holy moly so uh, this is actually something interesting I think you only have to see them in order for the uh, entry to unlock hmm okay well, I'm going to be a big, 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 big coward now. Just go ahead and see if there's anything here. Anything? Yes. Subversor. Multi-purpose agent of air and can fire multiple types of project. Yes, thank you. Oh, yeah. T. See, now we got two weapons. We got the Subversor, which is the entire point of, uh, I mean, that's the weapon that we had last time before our save reset, and I'm super excited about it because I love this gun, or whatever. Um, okay, but uh, what I wanted to say, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't say this, but I wanted to say it, was uh, what we'll do is we'll play for, you know, 20, 23 minutes, whatever it is, right, to a point where we feel comfortable stopping, and then we'll spend, like, five minutes, maybe, reading uh, diary uh, enc encyclopedia entries because I think that'd be cool and we can learn a little bit more about the lore of this game and a little bit more about the background and there is no way I'm going over there there are two high level enemies <laughs> can we go over here? no? no, okay Let's go over here standing on bushes hey buddy oh man, come on, I want to go over here and not have to deal with and not have to deal with whatever's going on over there. I think the widow and the and the reaper are like squaring off against each other. Um, let's see if I can sneaky sneak my way across. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. They did not see me over there. I'm happy to not attract their... Hey, buddy. 
I really, really don't need those guys to come after me. You, on the other hand, I really don't care. Let's see. Poison. Yes, it's good. Hey, man. Hey, hold still. One. Two. No. Remember, this thing will harm us if I shoot too many times. There we go. That's enough. Yeah. Okay, our needs are getting not super low. That guy should die now. On his own. Um, okie dokie. While we still have power, let's just hug this wall. There is some more Lux here. Let's pick this up. And let's see, where does this take us? I don't think I know where this goes. Maybe this goes to Garrison? Maybe this goes somewhere else? This might lead us outside, even. Or no, you know what this is? Okay, well, first of all... Oh, no, never mind. I thought this was, like, a uh, maintenance area, like, cordoned off, but it's not. You hear that? Like, the, the, the sound? By the way, I'm pretty sure that's... I mean, it's not exactly, but it very much reminds me of the System Shock sound. I know everybody's made the comparison, and the devs have oddly enough said that, um, you know, they had not played System Shock 2. But that's the sound that I remember when I used uh, vending machines in that game. Anyway, so I guess this isn't a maintenance area. I thought this would be, but I guess not. To the promenade and to Arcadia. Yeah, whatever. Let's listen to Pamela. Twelve has not communicated in three days. Five hours. I'm experiencing a strange distortion in my cognition as a result. A sort of burning sensation. Aw, that's sad. I think she's feeling lonely. Or missing her friend or whatever. Because uh, 12 is a seeker, right? Also, you guys heard the click. And look, the box is now open. More. More so. Or is this going to open too? I am somewhat concerned that it's going to open into like a death trap for me. <laughs> Uh, let me tell, let me, tell me that's a warden's fist. No? What is this? It is a warden's fist. But we would have to give up our subversor. I don't think so. Alright, as much as I like a warden fist. No. The answer to this is no. Let's see, just let's check out our needs. We're okay for health, at least. Let's have a pair. That should top off our um, our health, uh, our food, and that should be for drink. Good. Okay. And open. Nope, close. Close, close, close. Do not want. First off, it's promenade. I don't need to be in the promenade. Thank you. We are going to go downstairs now and check out what's going on, and hopefully these guys have not, like, spilled out into the world. Shh. Okay, let them, like, him and haw and yell over there. Nobody cares about them. Shush, nobody likes you. Right? Okay, we're sneaky sneaking our way over here. Has changed from full power to emergency power. That's fine. Arc medical is down. Yeah, that's fine. Perfectly okay. Again, nobody cares. Let's hide behind these bodies. Right. And hack. One, two, three, four. One of these days I will be able to do it all... Oh, yes. All in one. Let's do that. Uh, these hypos really only give me stamina, but you know what? Whatever. Right. Hey, buddy. Back off. Oh, I got your... I got your number now. ha. <laughs> That's right. Don't come up against me in my blade. Okay, there we go. Alright. Uh, let's see. Right, right. Okay, let's see what's down here. This is four set. Ooh. Good. That's good. It's already good. Uh, okay, and this is, this is now going to lead us outside. That's fine, though. 
Because ultimately, let's get this orange. Is there anything we can take here? Anything else? No. Ultimately, we are trying to get to Origin Station. More or less, right? Oh, hello. Let's listen to Pamela. I once was shown hundreds of human faces to learn the complexities of emotion. Emma expressed frustration when I insisted her face showed grief. Wow. Machine learning, by the way. That's a re I'm pretty sure that's what the reference is to. The idea that, you know, you, you can cause an AI or an AI system to learn a pattern based off of showing lots and lots and lots of whatever, right? The same, an example of the same thing. And then help the machine or ask the machine to recognize patterns, right? So, like, um, you show a bunch of photos of cats and in theory the system should be able to pick up the the common the commonality features of all cats. Okay. Okay. If you notice, I was completely messing up that hacking puzzle because I was talking, and I'm terrible at uh, doing things while I talk. All right, bulky leg armor. Who cares? It's leg armor. Um, right. This has right. This has drugs. Who cares? We're keeping it. We're keeping it clean here in Eden. Whoa! 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 <laughs> uh, that was uncalled for. Let's see. Did they change the pathfinding for them? Are they, is she gonna come at me right now? Cause I don't need that. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody got time for that. Look at that. There's a widow, right? Um, this is an origin station for sure. Okay, let's get this juice. Um, let's really quick. Okay, we're good for everything. You know what? Uh, whatever. Let's go rumble them. Who cares? T. There we go. Location Oasis. Cool. So we can read about Oasis. No, nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about this. Um, let's quickly look at the map. Is there something? No. Uh, because that's... Arcadia's over there. Origin Station. Oh, there it is. So we can walk to Origin Station. Let's go over there, then. Even if that widow might come back. Who cares? Whap. Whap. No. There we go. That's right. Bam. Whoa, you got a lot of stuff on you, lady. Uh, let's see what we can use and what we need. Um, what is this? Nano cipher, symbolic mechanized used in engineers to moderately enhance their ability to interface with security measures. Yeah, we're taking that. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's take this. Switch it out for what we have now. It's our it's like our stealthy charm. Who cares about it? Although it did probably save our lives this uh, this evening. And this is just the regular Subversor. We also have the regular Subversor equipped. Um, but let's not get too cocky. There are a bunch of staircases here, which could prove problematic. Let's go check out what's the central pillar here, or in like this little central area before we hit Origin. And what are we here? Oasis is on emergency power. You know what? But it's still pretty early out in the day. We can be okay. So that's one of the things they added. They added locked, hackable doors, which is pretty cool if I'm if uh, if I do say so myself. I'm very happy about that. Not uh, not all doors are now automatically open. Some doors are actually locked with a combination you have to find, which is super cool. Let's see. Okay, we can. Oh, let's have a, a little bit of food. Let's eat the. Uh, let's let's eat these two oranges. Whatever. Um, and then, what can we do? What can we do? Yeah, that's good. Let's get this bottle of wine, and then drink this bottle of wine, because who cares about wine? Yeah. Alcoholic beverages are pretty large, so you might as well consume them, right? I mean, they take up just a lot of space in your inventory. Let's take this money. Uh, what is this? See, this is good. A canteen. 
know what this is. Uh, let's get some cash. Let's get nothing. That's empty. What about this? Does this have something for us? So people clearly were here, right? This is tasty paste. Eh. Eh. One thing I do hope, quality of life that they put in, although I don't know how I'll feel about it if they do put it in, even though it'll be what I wanted. Ooh, storage container. Now somebody mentioned, I'm just actually going to grab this now. Uh, let's do this. Let's switch modes to buildables. I'm just going to put this down because I do want to see it. Right. Oh, you can! What the heck? I thought you had to power these. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, the one thing, as I was saying, quality of life, I would like to see an auto sort in my inventory, but uh, at the same time, I kind of don't want to, because I like the idea of having to manually sort my own inventory. It's not that it's skill or anything. I mean, like, it's, it, it's more time-intensive and time-consuming, I suppose, than anything else. But it's nice to know that I have to take the time and do it myself, and kind of be on top of that a little bit. I don't know. It's I I like it. Uh, what is this? Agility amplifier, symbolic menage, seen as overly superstitious by the authorities. Increase the use of mobility. Yeah. Okay. No. I would rather have the one that helps us hack. Although I think if I'm right, it doesn't so much help us hack. A seeker is around here. That's the well. Yeah. All right. We. I guess we. Oh, there it is. A seeker. Um. Let's listen to Pamela real quick. I'm pretty sure we heard this last time, right before we stopped. Solar availability and temperature are ideal for human parameters. I suggested the citizens to take time to enjoy it. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, guys. It is super early. Hey, buddy. We're just going to go say hello. He's going to scan us. We're going to scan him. Nice to see you, officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it weren't nominal, you'd come after us, like... Hard. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're both going to Origin Station. That's fine. We can turn off the flashlight. That's just wasting power now. Okay, so let's quickly look through the window. Looks pretty cool in there. It looks pretty chock full of boxes, too. Let's take a walk around the perimeter. Okay. Uh, booze. And more booze. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Do we have space for this booze? Not really, although... <laughs> although, careful what you wish for. Now that I've now that I've done all this stuff with the inventory, now that I've said all this stuff about, like, oh, managing inventory, who cares? I love doing it myself. Yeah, let me subject you all to watching me do it myself. Pretty sure nobody likes doing and watching that. Let's see, where are we? All right, energy we can still use some more of, but I think that's food. That's where the food comes in. That's more booze, scotch, rather. Eh. All right, I'm seeing a Pamela Echo. Let's re let's listen to Pamela Echo, and then we'll go inside, and that'll probably be the last thing we do. Today, Emma does not leave her office. She cries for one hour and 16 minutes. She calls me a daughter. Okie dokie, then. Um, I'm curious whether eventually we'll get um, we'll, whether we'll eventually get encyclopedia and that was a terrible mistake on my part seeker anything no buddy seriously one two Three. Ah, oh, it hurts so good. Back off, man. No, seriously. Oh, I am. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No. Nope. That's right. No, buddy. Seriously, I like. I. I don't have a problem with you. No! <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble. I am in deep trouble. No! Buddy. Buddy. 
No. Oh, this is bad. Run. Anything. Does nobody have... Right. Hey, 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 officer. Please present credentials. Yes, yes, take care of him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> straight into Origin Station, straight into a Reaper. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Now, now... Don't, don't dance. Just hit him. Thank you. You're the best. You're the best robo-friend I can have. Serves you right. Where are we for all of... Okay, you're right, all right. Okay. A little bit of a little bit of an animation problem here. It's fine. Show me my arm. Thank you. Uh, whatever. I'm hoping that if we reload it'll it'll fix our arm, which doesn't matter. We managed to um Please present well, credentials. Hey man. Uh, we managed to take down a reaper totally by ourselves. Uh, with the help of our friend over there. So, yeah, totally by ourselves. And we are now in Origin Station, which looks awesome. Oh, we are going to explore the heck out of this. Look at that. Cool. Uh, but we'll call it here. We will go uh, and explore this place afterward, uh, you know, next time. It looks like a lot of uh, gear here that we can pick up. That's pretty cool. And uh, we'll see what this place is all about. Okay, so if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts on the game, you think I'm maybe overlooking something, could be doing something differently, could be doing something better, you want me to go to a particular place, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case, uh, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, I promised that we would we would read stuff. So let's do, let's do this. Let's... Let's read, I don't know, Sleeper Digital. Let's read the first three, yeah? And then we'll read more later on. Hopefully. Okay, so here we go. Sleeper. Uh, sleeper, faction, pre-exodus, threat, nothing, nothing. Because that's us, right? Uh, as the pre-exodus world was steadily degrading, Biostera saw no alternative but to abandon the mainland altogether. During this transitional period, a vast swath of genetic testing was ordered, looking for the perfect candidates to be afforded safety among the floating arcs. Combined with a small amount of very affluent individuals, these future citizens were cryogenically frozen and stored upon their respective Edens. Many more individuals were selected than could possibly be accommodated for at one time, leading to only a small portion being awoken at any one time. This was primarily as a safeguard in case of future losses, but was also vital for diversifying the genetics of Eaton from such closed communities. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Cool, so we're like basically specially selected uh, special people. Fine. Degenerate. So they're called degenerates. I mean, that is, they're all afflicted, right? Faction. Threat low, special none. The unknown... I swear to God, if they're still active outside, I'm going to be upset. The unknown affliction affected the citizen of Eden varies widely by individual genetics. A significant portion was killed outright, but those who survived had varying levels of degeneration. Degenerated are those hit hardest by the disease, but still functioning. Preferring to stay as still as possible, they will only move if strongly motivated by fear, anger, or hunger. Their joints are fused and twisted, some with no function remaining whatsoever. As with all degenerative ailments, the growth increases. Uh, the growth increase in size and distribution rapidly, eventually locking all joints in place. Trapped inside a cage of bone, the citizen will remain conscious despite excruciating pain until their heart finally freezes as well. Yeah, but they're not like pure. They're not like reasoning humans, though, right? I mean, when they're coming at us, they're like something else, because they. I mean, to be fair, I do attack them all the time, but they're also. Like, the first couple are just purely out there to get you. Okay. So, afflicted, threat level high, I bet. Reaper. 
Civilian who underwent training to become enforcers had their genetics bolstered from a young age. As a result, these citizens would be taller, faster, and stronger than deemed necessary for the average individual. For an unknown reason, this bonded well with the affliction and created the devastating beasts called Reapers. Reapers are much taller than other afflicted and have a characteristic split between their jaw, metacarpals, radius, and ulna. Despite their animalistic intelligence, their attacks are fierce and confer vast amounts of force. Similarly, they easily shrug off most incoming attacks and have very little regard for their common afflicted. Huh. Alright, you know what? We're going to read the rest of these. The heck with it. Widow! Threat level high. That I take issue with. Reaper totally rumbled us. Widows we've taken care of. Widows underwent the same genetic therapy as reapers, but due to their unique female genetics, had a vastly different outcome. Their intelligence has largely remained intact, but their face and arms have been heavily twisted and fused. Eden placed a huge significance on genetic perfection and beauty, and this mental conditioning was twisted by the disease. Window widows silently stalk the halls of Eden. L they're not that silent. Come on, they keep on saying stuff. Looking for any human with untouched flesh with which to repair their bodies. And Agile and lightning fast, they prefer to wait until the foe is distracted before attacking, sometimes stalking their target for days. So I guess the idea is, I mean, again, they say like, oh, they, their intelligence remain intact, but they're not, they're either animalistic or they've gone like completely nuts, right? So it's not that their intelligence is the same, it's that they're cunning, but okay. Seeker. Seekers are co-developed after the exit, so Eden security, low to high threat, depending on what they do to you. Uh, special is arrest. Seekers were co-developed after the Exodus by Garrison and Nascent Robotics, originally meant to be the ultimate combat unit that could be outfitted with various holographic defense modules, HDMs. Over time, conflicts requiring these extreme measures dropped in frequency, leading to the removal of most Seeker equipment. Just prior to the fall of Eden, Seekers were being deployed alongside Garrison Enforcers as a vestigial ceremonial entity. Yeah, and Enforcers, according to the loading screen lore, are also pretty much ceremonial, but I, st I guess they still underwent genetic uh, enhancement, just in case, right? As separate entities, Seekers are not especially intelligent and instead rely on very limited protocols. When connected to the security network, many Seekers can share knowledge and information, giving the resemblance of higher intellect. From time to time, certain Seeker entities that have gained too much awareness from this connection must be purged. And I'm assuming that's what happened to Twelve, uh, the Seeker that kept on talking to Pamela. Afflicted! Afflicted, afflicted. Medium. So these are the regular guys that, like, just rumble up on us. Being relatively resistant to the affliction, these citizens still maintain a large amount of their intellect and capabilities. Despite this, the moment-to-moment -moment pain combined with temporal withdrawal has left them tribalistic in nature. Eventually, all afflicted will become part of the gener degenerated caste, however slowly. This knowledge is constantly bolstered by the presence of these other citizens, occasionally causing infighting between groups. Now... Let me just stop there because we're done and we're going to call it there in a second. But what this suggests to me is what they were talking about in the dev in the devlogs um, a couple of months ago. The idea that there would be like groups of NPCs that you could fight or ally with. And I think this may be part of this. That like the, the fact that they're essentially normal people but they're just like slowly dying from this disease suggests that you could, in theory, work with these groups, or maybe there will be other, like, non-afflicted people, or maybe you can work with Garrison, but it would be super cool if that was the case, right? Like, you, you can get them, uh, I don't know, hypos or something, right? Like, you they, like go raid some, uh, some like, a store of hypos in one of these clinics, uh, because we don't want to, like, turn into degenerated too fast, and maybe if you take too long, they turn into degenerated, that would be pretty cool, assuming that they actually put the kind of, that kind of, like, narrative and quest into this game. In any case, that was uh, the Encyclopedia lore. Next time, depending on, you know, what we have in here, we'll read the locations and the items. But it's good to know that there are explanations for why there are different types of afflicted and all the rest of that stuff. And it's always fun to find out the lore around here after speculating for so long. Okay, so with that said, now, like I said, if you guys have comments, especially after that lore, by all means, everything's welcome. And now, in any case... I'll see you all next time.
Bye-bye.